Let's talk about one of the wildest ideas to ever come out of Cold War science fiction, a weapon so extreme it's been called Rods from God. Imagine this, no explosives, no warheads, just giant metal rods think tungsten or depleted uranium dropped from space. The idea sounds like something out of a comic book, but it actually came from the mind of Jerry Pornell, a Boeing researcher and U.S. Army veteran back in the 1950s. Pornell envisioned a weapon system he called it Project Thor that would hurl these metallic thunderbolts from orbit straight down onto enemy targets. The result? Utter devastation but without the radioactive mess of nuclear bombs. Here's the science. When you drop a heavy rod from space, gravity does all the work. By the time that rod slams into the ground it's traveling at several kilometers per second faster than a speeding bullet and packing enough kinetic energy to flatten bunkers, missile silos or anything else in its path. In short, it's brute force at hypersonic speed. Now why tungsten? It's super dense and can withstand extreme heat on the entry. That means more mass, more impact energy, and less risk of the rod vaporizing before it hits the ground. The effect is like a meteor strike, think extinction level events, but targeted. And here's the kicker. There's no explosive payload. All the destruction comes from pure velocity and mass. If you do the math, a 6 meter long 30 centimeter thick tungsten rod dropped from low earth orbit could unleash the equivalent energy of a small tactical nuke without the radiation. This isn't just sci-fi either. The concept still gets discussed in defense circles today. It's called kinetic bombardment or kinetic energy projectiles. And it's the purest form of hit hard, hit fast military thinking. No complex electronics, no chemical explosives, just gravity and physics. But before you picture space becoming a weaponized shooting gallery, remember, launching heavy rods into orbit is extremely expensive. We're talking tens of thousands of dollars per kilogram. And of course, international treaties like the Outer Space Treaty make weaponizing space a legal and ethical minefield. Still, the idea of Project Thor keeps popping up because, let's face it, there's something undeniably fascinating and a little terrifying about harnessing the raw power of the universe to reshape warfare. So next time you look up at the sky, just remember sometimes the scariest ideas don't involve lasers or nukes. Sometimes it's just a really big stick falling really, really fast. Thanks for watching. If you love ideas that push the boundaries of science and imagination, hit that subscribe button.